Welcome into the K0LWC Ham Shack. Uh, tonight we're talking about how do you change the wallpaper on your Cisco 525 phone for Ham Shack Hotline. The Ham Shack Hotline wallpaper we see here is great, but wouldn't you want it custom to you? Maybe your call sign or something else uh, custom on the screen for you? Let's take a look at how we actually do that. It's pretty simple. The first thing we're gonna wanna do is log into our phone using the phone's IP address. In my case, it's 10.0.0.40, as you see here in the browser. Once you log into your phone, uh, go ahead and click on Admin Login. Once you've done that, go ahead and click on User, and we're gonna scroll down to the very bottom of this screen. Now, you'll notice down here, the background picture type is what you wanna change right here. You'll notice by default it is download BMP picture and it has a URL for Hamshack Hotline server. That's what's providing you that Hamshack Hotline wallpaper on your phone right now, but that's not what you wanna use. We wanna switch it to default and not to download BMP and go ahead and click on submit changes. Now, when you do this, your phone should change wallpaper and probably default to one of the you know, normal looking wallpapers that are in the Cisco phones by default, probably a bridge or a flower or something like that. Uh, but once we've done that, we want to come up with something way cooler than those things. Uh, I want to show you this tool. It's fantastic. It's PhotoP, P-H-O-T-O-P-E-A dot com. If you've ever used Adobe Photoshop, it's like a free online version of Photoshop, and it works fantastic for things like this. Now, there are some important specs that you need to know to make sure that what you design is going to work. Uh, there are requirements. It needs to be 320 pixels wide by 240 pixels tall. That is the wallpaper resolution on the phone. DPI, I have mine set at 150 and it works just fine. The background in my case, what I'd like is black. So I did select black here uh, as the color, click OK. And once we've done that, we just click create. And now we have the exact size we need for our phone's wallpaper. So in my case, I found this online and I'm gonna put this on my wallpaper. This is a, a Heil Boom with a Heil mic. So I'm gonna click copy, come back over here to our properly sized wallpaper and click paste and there it is. Uh, so I'm gonna put it in here on the left-hand side, that way it's not too much in the way and we're done. That's a cool looking wallpaper, certainly better than a flower, right? For us ham radio operators. I'm now ready to send this out and get it on over to my phone. I'm gonna go to file, export as JPEG. You're gonna to wanna to use JPEG for this. Uh, another key important requirement is the size. It cannot be greater than 300 kilobytes large. Now, when we're dealing with this size resolution, I wouldn't be too worried about it because if you're somehow going over 300 kilobytes at 320 by 240, something is very, very wrong. So uh, again, just make sure that this number is under 300. Quality up to 100% and go ahead and click on save. And here I go, new project 10 is saved. So now what we have to do is come over here to our thumb drive uh, that we're gonna use to actually transfer the photos over. So when we open up thumb drive, you'll notice that I have a folder named pictures. That's very important. If you don't create a folder in your thumb drive named pictures, the phone will not know where to look and it won't find anything. So make sure you right click, uh, do new folder and name it pictures. In here, I already have projects. Uh, I have one that looks like this. We'll open it up, take a look. Oh, look at that great face. Uh, so I have this one in here that I could put on my phone. I have another new project we can take a look at. Oh, very artsy. Uh, and then the one we just created right here. Uh, we're also gonna load this one over to the phone. So let's take them out of the computer, put the thumb drive in the phone and see what we got. Now we're ready to load our wallpaper onto the Cisco 525. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take your thumb drive and go ahead and plug it into the top of the phone on the upper left corner. You'll notice that since we turned off download BMP image from the Hamshack hotline server, the phone has now flipped over to whatever the default wallpaper is in the phone. But let's get something a little bit more ham-centric, shall we? Uh, the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and click on the menu button here. From there, we're gonna to wanna to scroll down and go to option number seven, user preferences. From there, we're gonna to go to number three, screen preferences, and then scroll down and find wallpaper. Go ahead and click the right button, and let's scroll down, and there are all the images we have in that pictures folder on the thumb drive. And here's that great microphone option we just actually designed uh, online. Let's go ahead and click select, and then set, and now let's go back 
And there it is, a custom wallpaper on your Spa 525. It's just that easy. If you have any questions, drop me a comment down below, but hopefully this tutorial helped you out. I'll catch you again next time.